Welcome back to my Megawang 2000 Turbo Edition hardware update. So I've been working on completing the Afterburner game and I just thought I'd play through the entire game as it stands at the moment in emulation. This also of course runs on my Commodore 64 just to see how long the game lasts and also to see what high score I can get. So if you speed up, you actually earn more score per second, and if you go slower, then you earn less score per second. So I'm going to concentrate on flying through this. I've actually turned on in vulnerability mode, I'm not going to die, but I don't really want to crash into the canyon walls or anything like that. So I'll see you later on towards the end of this video. Fuck! 
The enemy! There we go, 1,598,614 score 
This tells me what a decent amount of score is, so that I can then alter the score table so that it's possible to get first place while playing better than I have in this video. Uh, the game will now loop back to the title screen, so I'll leave the attract mode going so you can see what that looks like. We have, of course, the spinning grid of balls, which is actually a little bit better than the arcade version because these are perspective correct balls rather than the uh, strange visual transformation that the arcade machine used. It then, of course, goes into a self-playing demo. This self-playing demo is actually a little bit randomized, so the movement is randomized a little bit, and also the starting position in the demo level is also randomized, so it will never really look the same twice. We have the scrolling in high score table, we've got the palette fading in the background, which of course also works on the Commodore 64, and then it goes back to the ball grid. All of this code is checked into my public Commodore 64 GitHub repository, and I'll throw a screenshot of that link onto the screen at the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, evening or night, wherever you are.